I know that a lot of Lema fans will be like angry now. Like, what is this? What is going on here? Well, Jared, I will tell you guys, has the right words for each of these women. I can boldly say he was just brainwashing Mpumi yesterday, saying he, she's a lover, she's this, she's that, but with you, I would have connected with you earlier, blah, 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 blah. It's all wash. I don't know if you guys know what they call wash. It's all flows. But one thing I have to say is that these two will always find their way back to each other. And if you followed my update yesterday, guys, I told you guys this is this is a game like it's a scripted both of them Lema and jared know what they are doing forgive my manners hey guys good morning welcome back to lovely aunt on youtube and this is spicy updates with lovely aunt so you guys i know that lots of persons will be wondering why so how come after all the things Lema said even when she told sinaye about jared making her feel disgusted as she doesn't see any positive thing from him anymore so what is all this well before i go into that i this video is going to be packed and it's going to be long just be patient but you're really going to enjoy it okay let me start from before the scenery you guys are seeing there you know yesterday um you know guys know what jared did and he had a conversation with Liema where she like told him at this point she's not going to take it. I remember I told you guys, let's see how it goes. But while she was talking with Sinaye, she told Sinaye that she never meant it. But at this point, when she sees him, she feels disgusted and all that. And again, I told you guys that um, Jared fans were like, um, Liema is spoiling Jerry's game. I remember Jerry told my um, Liema told Magginio that Jerry is her victim, invariably, is a game they are playing. And <clears throat> the clip that surfaced that I saw when I just went to like check some things on the timeline on the third day was revealed that Jerry and Liema had sat down where Liema was saying she wanted to like play this victim stuff you know somebody who is heartbroken and Jerry who played like yeah I say you can do it they were like Jerry was like he doesn't know how it's going to work and at the end of the day I don't see the compromise they reached but along the line they couldn't stick to that game or they are still sticking to it well, somebody said it's like this person took an oath. I don't know if it's a set up here. Like, it's like they did one kind of secret agreement that they can't leave each other because he can't just imagine them every time you see them back together. Every time you see them back together, break up, make up. Like, these people are no longer interested again in what they are saying because they know say one thing, do another thing. But I think they have to stick to that game. So that evening after she spoke to Senaye, and the husbands were just like doing their thing, you know, he had a conversation later with Mpumi where Mpumi was trying to like find out, you know, her stand. She was indirectly trying to know her stand, where she is and, you know, because I believe she must have found out that Jared was with Els. Oh, guys, I don't know what to say because Mpumi and Else, the, the, what I saw last night, oh God, it was disgusting. I don't know what kind of play. I don't know if you remember when Mpumi did one kind of story with Fahima. The way they are just going about the house, crazy, no panda. I don't like it. Lip locking, me personally, eh? <laughs> me personally, like lip locking, I see it as more disgusting than the the other sibling ex seriously because that one definitely one might actually protect themselves but this one you don't know how people even brush you don't know how people even uh, you don't know what's happening in them their food and everything is is not protected like ah so guys i'm not just talking about that one so yesterday it was just all fun it was just all fun um the housemates gathered together they had fun and it seems that he is interested in Liema because he was telling Sinaye that uh, that he's thinking about Liema but Sinaye told him he can try out if he really wants to but it's may come with a lot of baggages you know what she's been dealing with in the house and if you guys can remember um when he gave the speech the way he talked to Liema gave her a rose like he really likes her 
and even in the diary room he still mentioned that he'd want to be like a big brother to her because she reminds him of his sister's friend of his or his sister, younger sister's stuff so you know that was just tacky and you know the way he was just looking at Lema that night but nothing really happened then next thing Lema moved upstairs because there was a time um Makeke was asking then Ghost said Lema approached him if she could come stay upstairs he said yeah because um Lerato was asking a ghost whether he was the one that asked her to come so the ghost now explains it so um i said okay she is upstairs then she was now like flirting with marginia so initially two days ago that was day before yesterday she slept upstairs and before then she really had this conversation with um, Mark Junior, they talked about lots of things. Mark Junior told her how he, he enjoys her voice, even at night, he could hear her voice, you know. Yeah, maybe when she's talking with Jared, or because I know she doesn't sing at night, it's Yolanda that disturbs them at night with her song, she always likes singing. So, you know, they got talking, and Mark Junior like told her that, hmm, that she'll be very good at podcast. So, that was when she revealed to Mark Junior that she also has a podcast. So, Mark Junior asks if he's on the Red app. I don't know if it's like on YouTube or they have any other Red app, maybe particular to South Africa, but I think it's on YouTube. So, she said yes, and she went ahead to narrate to Mark Junior how. They came up how they started the podcast how someone had you know like helped them out with it and the person just trusts them with it's not scripted the person just trusts them with whatever they have to do guys be patient with me because i'm coming to somewhere so she told mark jr that they talk about controversial issues and they still deal on mental health so i don't know if you guys will now see why she was able to really that tax they did that time about mental health and health and whatever she really really did it very well so that would tell you that is really what she's good at but she revealed to Virginia that it's only two episodes they've done so far and each episode is just 45 minutes so she and her friend i don't know the name she called it said hey, lily and kel stuff i think maybe i'll just go back to that video and um yeah see if i can because i yeah let me see if i can get it lily and k stuff okay so magina was even telling her that by saying it now that lots of persons are going to be checking out you know you know people that saw the video and all that so yesterday too magina just um encouraged and told that it's not all about views just as don't look at the views because everything you do is consistency don't bother about you know so yesterday too she now like wanted to like flirt with jared guys you guys need to see the way uh, uh, sorry mark jr jumped from the bed <laughs> it was so funny like i know mark jr is one thing the other day that like i don't know the other day that you can see this clip he she was with willie that very day they, they did that their valentine stuff you know there was one kind of thing lemma was you guys there to see mark jr's face i don't know if you guys can really see it on the screen or like mm, this disgusting thing so last night she was just trying to like play with play with my junior i know she has been doing this remember the first time she had issue with jared Went to meet Magino. Jared was around there. She was trying to flirt with Magino. Later, she still went back to Jared. Magino was like, "Are you trying to use me as a revenge?" And you know that she has already told Magino her game plan, and she has already told Magino that Jared is a victim. So anything if she tries to come around Magino, now Magino will just be feeling like it's not real. Is a play. So that was when Magino told her that hmm, that the game they are playing is good. She herself, that herself, um, Pumi, El, Jared, all of them are just that the game they are playing is a good one. At least that's how their name will just be all over social media out here. That's how they'll be trending. But him, he's he can't see himself doing all those kind of things and mm -mm, just to trend that he's not going to do that. And Mark Junior is just good. Congratulations to him. I think he's good at games. He won the head um head of house. He still won the arena games. Maybe next week again he's going to be the head of house. And who knows? Oh, is but I think Lema is just trying to know him more. 
Lema is just trying to get to know his person and know him more. And she really says she, he is an interesting person. She enjoys their conversation. And she is also cute when the way he keeps running away from her and all that. And Magina said, yeah, that has been him. Like, well, I feel he's just being careful. He doesn't want Lema to use um, him as her game. All of them are there for the game. So, revealing so much to your 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 another housemate you don't even know whom you can trust because everybody's aiming at the money so when she was done with mac jr that was when the housemates you know the housemates talked about a lot of things talked about their ex-life talked about their so many things they were just talking about that last night okay so let her i felt she was going to sleep upstairs or maybe like then i now saw Lema and jerry talking in the kitchen and that was like upstairs kitchen like that the uh, executive lounge place but i don't think so it's, i think it's one kitchen they have now it's not like a bbn house where you have where those in the executive lounge could cook upstairs so both of them were just talking and she was like telling jerry about staying in the moment staying focused and about mind um you know mind um you would like call it thoughtfulness or what you know some of these their mental health stuff now like focusing on one thing for some time she told jerry that there's something about her anything she focuses her mind on whether within or outside she always gets it so then um, jerry was like how does she mean so she was not telling jerry about if he can try out maybe pick a flower a, a, a feather or a flower be a color drawn pink one just keep it be looking at it daily for like five minutes just focus on it don't think of any other thing just be focusing on that thing for like it's all this mindfulness stuff maybe she's just trying to use it to get at something you know both of them were just i was surprised i said ah. e? Lema and jerry having conversation again like you know said please these people are playing a scripted game or these people can't just do without each other they truly truly have affection for each other but distractions are so much and jared is like maybe is his lifestyle or i don't know he can't say no to Mpumi or else but at this point uh, lemma has a forgiving spirit or oh, i don't know i don't know what just to say about both of them again well guys it didn't end there it didn't end there they really had this long conversation later ha, i saw both of them on the bed and i'm like in fact housemates don't even need to put their mouth again so guys can you guys see that all the things jared was telling and put me yesterday is just brainwashing and as for else it's no longer a triangle it's a quadrilateral because it's four it's a square now yes because but i think in all of this he still can't do without going back to lema because if he hadn't really really liked her so much you know yesterday lema wanted to try out some smoking stuff but he stopped her from doing that say don't do it i don't want you to take because you know if he's somebody that really wants you because if good friend is the one that brings out the best in you and you guys know he was the one that told lema don't go stay here do this for your family had he been he doesn't really like lema he would have asked her to go because i don't think he, he needs only lema to play his game he already has not put me there else probably he can go to another person but i think really really jared really have soft spots for lema if you guys can remember that conversation um put me and else we are just pushing him so remember jerry said there is nothing else we do that will get him so i feel because of this house or if they go to the outside world things are really going to change things are because they'll really be seeing themselves for who they truly are and you know they'll come to know themselves better probably know more about them via social media or via friends or whatever i don't think it's still good you know this house just like next available thing it's just like when you see a man going down with even somebody ordinarily he, that he can't even go down with just because they are in a confined or in a closed space so um that's just it anyway so i feel these two are inseparable for now so let's just not feel that uh Lema is dumb or she's not smart enough she can't let him be i think at this point both of them agreed on something for which they can't really 
really really break yes there's an agreement both of them and both of them have really built on something solid that despite all the shaky they still find their way back and they can't do it without each other so whatever jerry is telling anyone i don't think he's he's just brainwashing all of them and he truly truly if you ask me in the, amongst the how many of them i'll say he truly loves liema honestly i'll say he do that so if you're a lema fan don't just get pissed at her right now because she is playing her game with jared and one thing i feel sorry for jared for is that jared would have packed fans because he's really playing a game but because he now got himself entangled with him pull me and else if he had like left them and both of them would just play one good sweet script you know he would have a lot of lemma fans would have been voting for him and his fans to vice versa but because he now like brought in pumi and else just spoils the game but these two are still in it so please guys lemma fans don't take it so hard on jared he's still also helping lemma in a way and let's not just blame lemma for the game let's just support her for whatever decision she has taken ha huh. Thank you so much, guys. If you have if you have watched to this point, I love you so much. Thank you so much. Sorry for the long form video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And let me know what you feel about Taki and Lema. Do you think the, <laughs> the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know? So it's better. She she just like be playing with this one until the show ends. So you guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.